Let me first say congratulations to Caitlin Clark for winning the WNBA Rookie of the Year. I think when you talk about the records that she broke, when you talk about just her impact to the game, whether we talk about fans, whether we talk about revenue, whether we talk about viewership, it was well-deserved that she won the Rookie of the Year. Uh, I think the biggest issue that people are having, and you're hearing it, is she didn't win unanim unanimously. We know that Asia Wilson won the MVP unanimously, but Caitlin Clark did not win Rookie of the Year unanimously, which obviously a lot of people thought. There was one young, there was one person, we don't know who it was, but she voted for Angel Reese. And that is kind of where I want to end this show talking about. I think it's in the WNBA's best interest to not share the identity of this person because this has been probably one of the most polarizing seasons for a fan base that we've ever seen. Whether you talk about racist rhetoric that a lot of people that disguise themselves as Caitlin Clark fans uh, have spewed to other players, to coaches, to the hate mail, to the death threats that people are getting behind Caitlin Clark's meteoric rise in the WNBA. You know what's crazy? <laughs> I don't th I I think Caitlin Clark deserved to win rookie of the year. I think that again when you talk about the records that she broke and getting her team to the playoffs along with Kelsey Mitchell and Aaliyah Boston I'm not shocked that somebody voted Angel Reese for rookie of the year. Remember Angel Reese, in and of herself, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, in my opinion, are who would we what we would consider super rookies. They are rookies that play far beyond the title of a rookie. I think if you looked at Caitlin Clark's game and you'd be like, "Yeah, that's probably a a long time vet." If you look at Angel Reese's game, that's probably a long time vet. Remember. Before she got hurt, Angel Reese set the record for most rebounds, not just for a rookie, but most rebounds for a WNBA season. In fact, I think even with her getting hurt, I think she set the record for most rebounds per game from a player in WNBA history. While... Fans of Caitlin Clark and social media would make you think that the gap between, you know what it is? Hear me out, okay? Hear me out when I say this. The Caitlin Clark Angel Reese debate, in some, in a lot of similarities, is kind of like the Kobe Bryant Tim Duncan debate. And this is what I mean. No, 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 no. I am not saying that Caitlin Clark is on the same level as Kobe Bryant, nor am I saying that Angel Reese is on the same level as Tim Duncan. I'm not saying that at all. This is what I'm saying. As a fan base, you have to understand what people love, what people idolize, what people gravitate to they gravitate to offense they gravitate to you know dunks and threes and and crossovers and just the spectacle of offense that a lot of times the fundamentals the the things that don't get talked about the things that don't get glamorized just get thrown away when you when you have a conversation with somebody 
that maybe isn't as privy in sports or maybe isn't as privy in the history of basketball and you threw the name Kobe Bryant out there compared to the name Tim Duncan, they'd probably think that Kobe Bryant is leaps and bounds better than Tim Duncan because he scored more points than Tim Duncan. While I or somebody that is a little more invested in the NBA and watched it more would probably argue, well, you can, I'm not saying that if you think Kobe Bryant is better than Tim Duncan, that you're wrong. I'm not saying that. If I'm also not saying if you think that Tim Duncan is better than Kobe Bryant, you're wrong. What I'm saying is if you ask the, the, the people that maybe are quote unquote casuals, They'll speak glowing of Kobe way before they'll speak glowing of Tim Duncan. But when you look at it, they have this damn near the same amount of accolades outside of points. Kaylin Clark has a flashy game. Her game is beautiful, man. I think she set the record for most assists. Like the records that she set, I saw it on Sports Center. The other night, the records that she set is like uh, a Star Wars themed um, scroll. It just keeps going. Angel Reese kind of has the same thing, especially when we talk about her impact and her importance to the rebounds and, and to just her team. I was heavy on the fence saying that Caitlin Clark, I mean, no, Angel Reese for a good portion of the season was my uh, rookie of the year. Seeing how how important she was to the team at the time the Sky were in playoff contention and she broke the rebounding record. But when you also, oh, and I was also on the side of, yo, I wouldn't mind, especially if both teams made to the playoffs, I wouldn't mind seeing a co-rookie of the year. We've seen that before in the NBA. But as we sit here today, I'm not mad. And, and I think that, you know, when you see how the season ended and you see just her importance, I'm not mad that Caitlin Clark won, you know, the rookie of the year. And I think that it was well-deserved. I think when you look at the end, she deserved it more than Angel Reese. But I don't want people to sit here and think that the gap of importance to each other's team is vast. Yes, it would be cool if Angel Reese won. I mean, no, if, uh, if Caitlin Clark won unanimously. Cool. But she didn't. And uh, I think that I think both of them had an incredible season. And this isn't me poo pooing on Caitlin Clark. This is me saying congratulations for winning rookie of the year. And I, I just don't want people to think that as groundbreaking and as record breaking as Caitlin Clark's season was. Let's not forget how good Angel Reese was. And vice versa. I, I Again, I probably, looking at the end of the season, and, and I know people are probably going to ask, looking at the end of the season, I probably would be shocked. I would have been shocked if Angel Reese won. And I probably would have said the same thing. If she won, congratulations to her, but let's not forget what Caitlin Clark did. Um, Caitlin Clark deserved to win the Rookie of the Year. I'm not mad that it wasn't unanimous. You still won it. And I just, for the people, because I'm hearing a bunch, you know, release the names of, of the person that didn't, that voted Angel Reese. Yo, points wise, yes, it was, a, it was night and day different. But when we talk about impact to the team, especially when you see how the Chicago Sky looked without Angel Reese, the impact that both players had let's not get it twisted bro they're both uber important to their team but congratulations to caitlin clark for winning rookie of the year
Oh man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.